Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays FTL, Faster Than the Light, Advanced Edition, etc, etc. Let's do this shit finally! After much posturing and failure and, and disappointment, I have managed to get to the point where I can actually, you know, have the Mantis Cruiser. Shall we take this opportunity to actually enjoy it? I think we should. What is the Mantis Cruiser? We start with a small bomb, basic laser that fires once, it takes 10 seconds, that's trash. The bomb, I guess, is important. I don't know how many missiles we start with. We get Mantis Pheromones as an augment, which increases our crew's movement speed by 25%. And, of course, the all-important thing, we start with a teleporter, which is going to allow us to uh, board enemy ships and hopefully uh, create havoc in them as a result. So, let's just start up the run. I think what I want to do here is send the NG over to the weapons room, and we'll have one Mantis just kind of hang out. Actually, you know what? We might want the NG in the uh, in the engines room. How fitting! And then we'll have our, our Mantis ready to board and and take out as many crew members as possible. So I think we're designed with this ship to basically just wreak as much havoc. Uh, we're definitely not going to surrender to slavers. This is good because we could use another crew member. Um, but yeah, I think uh, this ship is designed to uh, essentially. Not enough system power? Why? Oh, because I can only afford to have one thing powered up at the same time. Alright. Um, I think the ship is designed to kill ships before um, you actually are... Oh, they boarded us? What the heck? On the first sector? Really? Anyway, the ship is designed to destroy enemies before they get a chance to destroy you. Um, and just kill all their crew members instead of having to deal with anything else. So they're in our oxygen room. That's pretty deadly, actually. I'm gonna send uh, our Mantis in to fight them, and we'll have the Engineer be on the piloting system. They they sent an NG over to fight us, which is uh, probably the last decision they're or the last worst decision they're ever gonna make. So my shields are are actually completely out for now due to ion damage, but they're gonna come back. And we've taken out their shields, so now we'll use our basic laser to attack their. Um... Oh, they're gonna surrender. I'm gonna accept it for now, and I'm gonna teleport our NGs back uh, into the med bay. Oh, well, I guess they just teleport back to the teleporter, huh? Excuse me, teleport back, please. Oh, teleport down. I see how to do it. This is a, give me a second here. This is the first time, really, that I have been using a uh, a teleporter. So I'm trying to make it work, but uh, it might be a little bit of a learning curve associated with this. That's why I took that surrender offer just to make sure. Uh, the mantis should go into the med bay. Uh, just to make sure that I uh, was not ac accidentally going to get myself killed. So. Uh, we might actually want to... Uh, you can only fit two people in the teleporter room, huh? Okay. Well, I think this is fine as is then. So, I forget the order that we had people in. You're actually kind of hurt, so... NG was in the engines room. Who's our pilot? That would be... You. And you get in here. And what do I want to do? Probably upgrading the teleporter seems like a smart idea. Upgrading weapons so I can use both weapons at once seems like it would be very prudent to help me survive. And then just playing smarter seems pretty useful as well. Uh, but first things first, let's see if we encounter another ship here. Pledge to do what you can. Sure, uh, there's a Mantis war camp ahead. Am I not a Mantis? Do I not bleed Mantis blood? Do I not chitter? Like, how? It's basically, uh, feels a little conflicted. Let's try this out. I really don't want to fight too many more Mantis, because I want to board them, not have them board us. Looks like there's nothing on that ghost ship, so we'll just head to this uh, distress beacon in the middle here. And then we will head to the quest marker. I have no idea how it will work out for us. Uh, and this is just a standard, uh, regular ship here. So, what do we do? I'd say probably the best thing for us to do is actually teleport into the weapons room and then keep our small bomb active so we can actually hit their shields. And then when we kill their shields, um, we can switch to the basic laser. That's my philosophy on things. And uh, it looks like we'll, we'll be fine here. Uh, the missiles might do some damage, but luckily it hit the room where the NG was. Uh, one of our mantises is, is almost dead. I need to. I want to zoom in here to see if he's actually going to win the fight. I'm not sure if he will. I, we should get a clone bay as soon as possible. I have to imagine. Oh, are we going to? Oh, he's going to die, isn't he? This mantis is going to die. Oh, we got him out of there just in time. Now he's in the oxygen room. Uh, and we're going to want to teleport them back ASAP, obviously. Might be the, a good idea to upgrade our med bay. So basic lasers should be firing on their weapons for sure. Uh, we can teleport them back. Got to get them in the same room first, so why don't we try this bad boy out and... Uh, sure, we've done some damage, but... Maybe, oh, we don't want to fire on that anymore then. Hmm, this is a weird one. I imagine I will probably get a lot of my crew killed by accident. That seems like something that is definitely... In the, I mean, in the cards for me, I should say. Let's teleport our crew back. Send them into the med bay. This is why, by the way, 
keep this in mind every time you hear people say, Northern Lion, why do you play on easy? With ships that I've had a lot of experience with, it's not so bad, uh, but with this ship, I'm, I'm obviously having some serious problems here. Oh my god, we're gonna have to reboard them basically, which is fine. Um, I don't want to use any more missiles because we don't have that many, and this will give me some good practice with the teleporter. So again, bear with me if you've seen the Mantis Cruiser used a lot, uh, then I will probably just look like a big ding dong to you, but I'm coming into the pilot area here basically to see if I can kill all of their crew. We did. Wonderful. Uh, so we should be able to teleport them back into the teleporter room, or just like so. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let's get our NG fixed up in the med bay. Having a next level teleporter seems useful. Having a next level med bay seems useful. Our weapons seem fine for now. Let's upgrade teleporter, upgrade med bay. I know it seems silly. You never upgrade the med bay, right? But we're we're gonna do it here, and uh, that will give us two bars of teleporter power, two bars of that. We we don't need two bars of med bay power yet, but when we teleport people back, we'll want that. So this will lower the cooldown on our teleporter. And as an NG ship, uh, or, or sorry, as a Mantis ship with a teleporter, theoretically we have a good chance to get more scrap because we can kill. Oh, we're gonna have to get involved in combat here. We can kill them before they notice us, which seems to be pretty smart. I'm a little scared about sending our uh, Mantis into this fight uh, because they're gonna have Mantis crew members as well. So what I'm thinking, first things first, get the small bomb ready. Um, but beyond that, we should teleport into a room where only two of them can fight us at once. The weapons room seems to be a pretty good uh, example of that. Maybe we can take their weapons offline as well if we get lucky. Looks like they have a Mantis and an NG, so we theoretically should be fine. Then we'll drop this bomb on their shield room, and then we'll switch to the basic laser if we need to. Uh, that, that hurts. We're taking a lot of hull damage. So, Yoin is nearly dead. Yoin, uh, they want us... Oh, we actually took care of all their crew members already. Please get better, is what, I, is what I'm basically saying to my crew members right now, because they are, um, they're taking a lot of damage pretty quickly. But as they level up with fighting, I guess, and they're getting pretty close to it, they'll become much stronger and we'll need to babysit them maybe a little bit less. I don't know, though. Let's get the med bay uh, going to 1.5 times as fast here. Next thing we'll level up will probably be weapons, so we can... I mean, we just need a better weapon to begin with. But we might just want to stack up on crew members as well. Okay, this is, uh... I've got people going in the wrong area here. You need to come into the engines room, and you need to come into the teleporter room. You need to come into the teleporter room. And then we'll get ready to save. Why am I taking damage right now? Why am I taking so much hull damage? Zero missile defense is basically the only answer to that question that I can see. And uh, it seems to be the most logical answer to that question. I think it's the real answer to that question. Alright, so we're fighting against a rebel ship here. They have a missile launcher and a drone. We will teleport into their uh, weapons area. And there's going to be two humans. Uh, should be easy enough for us to fight here. We'll just land a shot in on their uh, on their shields. Their missiles will probably take us out, but or they'll probably hurt us at least. But I guess the cool thing about... Is that a breach? Kind of looked like a breach. The cool thing about the um, Mantis ship is that even if you get... Uh, like some of your systems down like yeah our weapon system has gone down it doesn't really matter uh, we can take out their weapon system very easily as well and then we can just teleport our crew members back and and put them into our uh, full power med bay here and we've got plenty of time to make this happen because they can't really do anything in return it's a different strategy for using a ship uh, but it's a strategy that I think is gonna work out totally fine uh, do we really want to send more crew members over here? I, I do think we do. Yeah, we'll send them into the shield room and we should be able to kill them uh, before... Uh, we should be able to kill their crew, I should say, before the hull, which is wonderful. So I'm not going to really shoot on anything. I don't... I mean, we could take out their drone. That seems like a smart idea, I guess. And, yep, yeah, there we go. We've, we've killed uh, all their crew members, so we can just teleport back. It would be nice if the medbay was maybe a little bit closer to, you know, our actual area here, but... We are uh, about to hit, like, second level of fighting on half of these guys, which is pretty good. So let's head back to the room of our choice. And uh, get ready to jump a little bit more. So far, so good. Definitely an idiosyncratic ship, but a, a cool one nonetheless. So they have a... All these ships have missile launchers, which is so frustrating, but it's okay. Um, this is a dangerous one, because they can put more crew members in than we, than we can. Um, but first things first, of course, get the small bomb ready. Might want to fight them in, like, the piloting bay or something like that. Or even oxygen? Let's go fight them in the oxygen room, and we'll see if they send uh, one or two crew members in to fight me. We got a little bit of a, a head start on them here, and we can always just use small bomb on their weapons instead of on their shields, and then take out all their crew, which has worked out very well for us so far. I, I'm glad they start you with an NG. You have kind of like a mobile repairman. Their weapons are completely offline. They're going to send another crew member in to fight us. 
We might end up being a little hurt, actually. We made it! Okay, that was a little close, but, uh, cool. Four fuel, 28 scrap. Fine by me. You come back. Now, there is, um, there's an augment, and I believe it's called, like, uh, reconstructive teleport or something like that. So, when every time your crew teleports, they're healed back to full health. That seems like it would be exceptionally useful on a, uh, a ship like this. Well, any ship with a teleporter, I suppose, but, uh, in particular, our ship, where we're having a little bit of trouble getting, uh, getting kills ASAP here, but... I, I still can't really complain. It's, oh man, that's a long trip to get to the beacon. I think we'll still be able to make it, but we've got to rush. And we're only on sector one, which is why I'm trying to save scrap. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but it's what I'm gonna. It's what I'm gonna do. So um, let's teleport here, and we'll basically do the same thing. I almost want to just teleport into their teleporter room here, so we can fight uh, fight them and keep them from coming back to fight. Us. They actually teleported to fight our NG in the door room, much to my surprise. So what I'm gonna do is have the NG actually pilot the ship, and we'll have our other mantis come back here and fight them. And uh, again, we'll drop our small bomb on the weapons room. We might be vulnerable to a couple of laser shots here, but ideally we'll at least dodge one of them. And there we go. Take their weapons completely offline. Murder their entire crew. And we're good. Okay. Everyone needs to get to the med bay. I really do think there needs to be like a get all people to the med bay button. Uh, that would, all, like all injured people to the med bay, if they can fit. I think that would be a smart idea to include. But uh, maybe they're done with FTL and... Deservedly so, they put in a lot of hard work and it's a really good game. That being said, get to the med bay button would be something that would be very much up my alley. Uh, more distress beacons, we've got to go this way anyway. I'm in a little bit of distress myself, thinking if I can actually get to the beacon here. I'll give them three fuel. They'll give me a, uh, they'll give me sector scans. Wonderful. Now that we've already completed 99% of the sector. Uh, obviously not 99. Um, let's attack the automated ship. Beam directly into the station to avoid detection. Okay, let's try it. I mean, it's blue. It's usually good. Uh, our map has been updated again, I guess. And we did manage to make it to the exit. And we'll, we'll work on some upgrades or buying something next. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, I may just accept their bribe. That looks like a fairly dangerous ship with a drone control unit, missile launcher, free scrap. Fine by me. We can actually jump to this one as well and still be able to make it out. So why don't we give that a try, too? Bit of a learning curve on the ship, I can tell. Um, on this one, it's basically the same ship, but I'll intervene to defend the outpost anyway. And why don't we teleport into the uh, weapons area on this one? Basically, I want to teleport into rooms where they can only send two crew members to fight us. Uh, one of those is an, an anti-personnel drone, though, which is going to be a really tedious piece of garbage to fight. Uh, we could teleport out of that room, though, which might be what we want to do. We killed one crew member. Can we? Yeah, we can still send people this way. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send our crew out this way to fight this guy, and then we'll drop a small bomb into their weapons room. And you know what? I'm actually, gonna teleport our crew back temporarily, or we'll we'll suss out where this other guy is. He's probably in the shield room or something, or maybe he's trying to repair the weapons room. We should we should just get out of here for now. I think. Come on back. And yeah, that was a little dangerous, but that's okay. This is important because I um. I mean, where do we go next? It's a very good question. We'll see, we'll see if they're getting repairs done on the weapons room. And if they are, then I will send, uh... Actually, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna fight the ship the old-fashioned way. Take out their shields completely. Fuck using the Mantis, but we will put them back in here. I apologize, I think uh, FTL might be a little bit loud today, but... I, I hope you can still hear me. I think you can still hear me, so... Uh, I'm just gonna use the basic laser on this one, and we're gonna... Fight the ship, uh, the old-fashioned way. Even though our ship is not very strong from a weapon standpoint. It's okay. We'll, we should be able to take them out at least. Might have to switch back to using the small bomb occasionally. Please tell me they can't get the shields online before the basic laser charges again. The basic laser really strikes you... Oh, god damn it. Really strikes you as one of those weapons that basically they had to... Uh, had to implement to make the Manta ship worse. That's, that's how it feels to me anyway. So we may be able to kill the last crew member here. Or the anti-personnel drone. Either or is fine by me. Their weapon is back online, but their weapon is just a basic laser, too. They can't do anything to us, so... I guess all their crew is not dead yet. Now they still have one more crew member. Um, and we're gonna fight him. And he's gonna die. And we actually got a shield charge booster out of that. As well as a lot of scrap. So I'm very pleased about the fact that we uh, actually went through with that fight. I thought about jumping away for a while. Shield charge booster? Not particularly strong, but uh, everything else that we got there is pretty good. Ship definitely forces you to be a little bit more creative, but I would love to have some weapons as well. Um, we got very close. We're like lying tangent to the curve there. But yeah, I would definitely love to have some other weapons that uh, 
would actually allow us to be a little bit more offensively punchy, if you will. We do have 172 scrap. We could be able to buy a weapon. That's kind of what my major focus is right now. Um, we have distress beacons. Okay, well, if we're just going to have distress beacons, I think we should upgrade something. Third level of uh, teleporter seems smart. I think maybe we'll first pick up a bar of shields, uh, just to make us a little bit safer. And I think also I'll pick up another bar of reactor power, just so we can keep the med bay permanently powered up so I don't have to micro. Uh, if you're a better player than I, you wouldn't have to do that. But I'm, a, I'm the kind of player that I am, so we will lead these people to their destination. Is there a store nearby? Hard to say, so we're going to take it slowly. I will get probably a second level of weapons now, next I should say, so that I can... Um, so I can use a uh, small bomb and basic laser in conjunction with one another? We'll see. We could we could board this ship. Is there any reason to? Like, if we board... There's gonna be no oxygen on board. Okay, so let's not do that. That could have gotten us killed. We definitely need a second level of... Uh, uh, a second level of uh, doors, too, just for anti-boarding. Although, if we get boarded, in all likelihood, my number one defense is gonna be to uh, just use my own Mantis crew members to fight back, but then that takes away our ability to, to board the enemy and get the advantage there, so it's for the best if we could make it easier on everybody, I guess. They must have three bars of weapon power, because we're only hitting one. I mean, that's the problem with this ship, is that it almost seems like worse against drones, because you can't exploit the fact that human, NG, rock, slug flesh is, is um, meaty and weak, basically. Mostly with the basic laser, I'm like, this shit really takes 10 seconds to charge? To shoot one shot? That's, like, comically bad. Small Bomb does two damage, but it also costs a missile part, so... I figure we'll just wait and, um... Miss a little bit more. Theoretically, we could teleport our crew members over, break the piloting system, and then, um... You know, what, what value would that provide us with? Not very much, I think. Uh, maybe losing our crew members due to lack of oxygen. Would they die in 15 seconds due to lack of oxygen? I don't think so, but they could. Oh, finally we land a hit. That will lower their dodge chance at least. Should probably shoot on weapons next. And this is highlighting the need for another weapon to me. Doesn't even need to be good. Does just needs to be maybe like another two lasers. Like a like a burst laser mark two or something like that. Burst laser mark one even. We'll see. I really thought that was gonna be the end of the fight. I was excited, but. It, it was an ill-advised excitement, and I apologize for my enthusiasm. Uh, this could be a long run, because we are we are not doing very well against this automated drone. It's okay. It, what do they have, like a 50% chance to dodge? They've dodged like 10 shots over the course of this fight so far. Probably should board them in the future, take out their dodge chance, and that's fine. 25 scrap for that uh, nightmare. Can we get over there this way? Um, no, we have to go around this way, so I might as well get started with that. Because we're going to burn a lot of time trying to make it to that quest beacon. Yes, uh, sure, attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache. I know I should learn. I really, now that I have to put my money where my mouth is, I'm like, I don't want to go over there. <laughs> I don't want to go over there and have to deal with, um, have to deal with the lack of oxygen, potentially. Uh, speaking of lack of oxygen, let's get both Mantis in here to repair this. They should be able to get it done, even though they're super slow. Should be able to get it done before it really negatively impacts our ship. Alright, so we took both of their weapons offline. Maybe should have fired on piloting system first, but it's okay. They have nothing nothing to hit, hurt us with right now, so um, we'll just wait until everything gets repaired here, and we're going to basic laser their piloting system. Please don't have a high dodge chance. Try that shot again. Send everybody back to where they belong. Any ship with oxygen is a very vulnerable target. Any ship without oxygen is a very tedious one, because I don't want to necessarily risk my crew members. But we'll try uh, firing a and the basic laser in on the engines here and see if we can't get something of value. Yep. Okay. We'll take the engines completely out and then we only have another 35 seconds or so. I like the Mantis Cruiser. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. Please tell me I can attack them before that missile actually fires on us. I'm not happy with that. Don't hit the weapons at least. Oh, it didn't hit anything at all. One in five chance worked out in my favor there. I do like the Mantis Cruiser, I like how it forces you to think differently, but Jesus Christ, Basic Laser and Small Bomb is the worst combo that has ever been committed to celluloid. Games are probably not made on celluloid anymore. Alright, so we got another 29 scrap as a result of our, uh, our troubles there. 120 scrap, could be a good time to upgrade, but instead, uh, probably, oh, intruders on board. Dumb idea, man. I think they're gonna fight us in our med bay. So we're gonna send 
all three Mantis members in there, and uh, that's gonna be bad for you because my Mantis crew members, not only is the medbay powered up to two, but uh, my Mantis crew members are like exclusively good fighters. Even the pilot is pretty solid, so, well, he's getting there anyway. So this is a very easy uh, encounter for me. And I do want to I do want to upgrade our ship, but more than upgrading our ship, I really just want to uh, buy a weapon from a store that sells things for scrap, which we should be able to find. First things first, uh, we have a, another drone, which at this point is just becoming kind of comical. Do we want the small bomb or the laser? I don't know. They've hacked our piloting system. It's pretty dangerous. You know what? Let's uh, let's send over our crew members here, and we'll we'll attack the weapons area. Are they going to die? They're going to take damage, no question about it. We don't need the basic laser here. We need the small bomb, for sure. Um, that was that was stupid of me to even wait that long. Tell up! Oh my God, we're actually gonna lose these crew members. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, they're gonna make it. They're gonna make it. Ooh, hoo hoo! Okay, how much health did they have left? Nine and nine. Okay. Um, yeah, that's um, that's risky. Let's try not to do that again. Head over to the shields room. Yeah, we're just gonna rely on that uh, foolproof method that I've been using for a while now. I think that's gonna be the best thing for everybody involved. Everybody get back to your rooms of choice. And I'm gonna use some small bombs here just because they do twice as much damage. Uh, that one missed. F fucking great. Alright, well prepare for like a 90 uh, second fight here. Maybe even longer. If our crew had a little bit more health or a little bit faster uh, attack. I would probably go through with this, but... Or I'd probably uh, send our Mantis over again. But as of right now, there's not really much of a point to it, so... We really desperately need that next level of, um... I mean, not next level, we just need better weapons. Because as of right now, um... It's, it's just tedious, it's very tedious. Even if we had both weapons firing simultaneously, we'd still need to do three damage and lose a missile part per attempt, so... So be it. Uh, apparently we fought exclusively drones in this sector. Don't let it get you down! We're gonna fight meaty, fleshy humans again, and it's gonna be a good time, and we'll, um... We'll tear them apart with our Mantis crew members. We're really weak against robots, I'm noticing. I'm not concerned at all about them hacking our piloting system, more concerned about making sure that they can't attack us, and, uh, that their dodge chance ideally is zero. I can't believe we came so close to losing our Mantis crew members. If, that would be the worst, because if we lost any crew members without having a clone bay, that's just the end for us, right? Like, what are we gonna do? Beat the Rebel flagship with small bomb and basic laser? Seems unlikely. Anyway, we only need, like, two more hits. This is one. Good hit. And one more. And then we can live our lives in, in perfect harmony, hopefully out of this sector. And hopefully we get a lot of scrap for this as well, so... There you go. Not the fastest fight, but we made it work, and uh, we learned a little something. Here's our quest beacon. I totally forgot that uh, we were not at the quest beacon yet. Let me guess. More robots. What do we have? Upgraded the reactor by one. I'll be sure to invest that power into the absolutely nothing that uh, I can right now. And we'll see if we have something here. Uh, just free scrap for that beacon. Fine by me. We'll make our way to the exit, and uh, with 170 scrap, there's no excuse for me to not upgrade. I have to. And even though we don't have better weapons, I should upgrade our weapon system just to get the capacity, I think. Upgrade the teleporter again. Inquire about their specialty. Upgrade oxygen for 19 scrap. It's pretty cheap, so I'll take it even though, you know, it's not very good. Or it's not very useful, I should say. And we'll go to the Zoltan homeworlds. Maybe should have gone to NG, because NG are weaker, but Zoltan are pretty squishy too. Alright, is there a store in the vicinity? Does not appear so. So! We'll pick up uh, two bars. Oh, the weapon power costs so ex so much extra. Pick up one bar of that for now, then, just so we can have a couple things firing at once. And one more bar of engine power. And we'll talk about getting that third level. Uh, uh, we should get doors too. We'll talk about getting that third level um, of uh, the teleporter up as soon as possible. I would love to buy a clone bay, to be honest with you. I think that's one of the things that would be best for us, because then if our mantis die, we're not fucked. We can just get more mantis, basically. We're fighting another drone, which at this point... Oh, good. Yeah, hack our oxygen system. That's wonderful. Uh, I don't know if there's anything we can do to make that better. Obviously, now that we have two weapons going at once, we're going to have small bomb and basic laser. That's uh, That might be a breach, but that's okay. Small bomb did not miss, so basic laser actually can do something. Their missile launcher is still up, so that's what we're going to hit next. Oh, good. Our shield system is like uh, completely down. No, it's just on fire. Okay. Come on, Angie. You can do it. I believe in you. Uh, basic laser can fire again. Let's do it up. Both of our shit missed here, uh, which is wonderful. 
because now we have like 0% dodge chance. Shields are critical, the fire's spreading, Engie's in a bad place, and the med bay's down too, okay. We might just want to jump away from this one to be honest with you. Shields are completely down, small bomb, basic laser, get it done. Okay, now that, now that all their shit's out, oh my god, there's a breach in this med bay too? That's okay, we can get it back up. Doesn't really matter that our shields are completely down now. Because we can keep them completely offline too. Good, okay. You're you're healed. Um, go go in here and fix the engines, and then we'll talk about what, what to do for the rest of this. We're in a weird place. Ions landed on our empty room. That sucks, I guess. Uh, engines are totally fixed. We should get our door system putting those fires out in the shield room, which means you have to come this way. And uh that going okay we don't have a sensor system that's kind of unusual I just noticed that probably should have fired on the hacking system first I don't want to use any more missiles because we've already used a, a fuck ton of them uh, but so be it I guess oxygen's gonna be fine hacking systems gonna be wounded anyway don't need to take them completely offline necessarily looks like the fires are out let's close the doors and then open all of them all the ones that will open anyway what an annoying series of fights. These drones are just a pain in the ass, man. Uh, actually, you know what? We should fire on the weapons just so that uh, their missile launcher can't come back. We'll get these shields fixed up, and it looked a little touch and go for a while, but we're okay. It's a much longer uh, first few sectors than I'm typically used to. And their ship's gonna be dead as soon as I fire again. Okay, so annoying. Another very, very annoying fight. Decent scrap rewards. Uh, why am I like exclusively fighting against drones? It's making my teleporters useless, but this is the way, the game's way, I should say, of uh, making me bleed a little bit. It's okay, I've, I can persevere, hopefully. No more drones, please. We get, uh, sure, they don't have a teleporter. They do have a beam and a bomb. That's not a bomb, that's an ion. All right, that's, that's kind of good. Uh, the only problem is getting through the fucking Zoltan energy shield is gonna take forever. We really, I can't stress enough that like one burst laser Mark II would be so much better than what we presently have at our disposal. It's it's actually comical, the shit that we're having to deal with here. This, it's just so like non-traditional. This, the ship is just so, it's just weird. Not being able to do like damage offensively is very strange. Um, so I don't think there's any need to use basic laser. What we will do now is teleport on and finally have a chance to show these Zoltan uh, what pain is made of. They have a slug and a Zoltan crew member. Here we go, time to start stacking up these rewards. We'll kill all these guys, obviously, uh, and the Zoltan is not gonna be very far behind. I wonder if they will keep someone. Oh, they, yep, we killed them all. So we got a battery charger. Uh, that's not really useful for us at all. But we got 46 scrap, which is pretty good. You guys get back to the med bay, and we uh, should power this up. That was stupid of me not to have a higher dodge chance. No stores still, which is really bad because I need fuel, I need to repair, and I need to buy a weapon. But so be it. It is what it is for now. As long as Zoltan Energy Shield and drones are just the worst that we can deal with right now. Sure, we participated in the study. They boarded us. Uh, I think you will regret that, if I had to guess. So you know what? We're actually just going to send our Zoltan pilot in. It's going to really lower our dodge chance, but they have shitty borders anyway. And then we'll board them, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see how they like turn about. Which is, if I remember correctly fair play. Now, um, obviously, this this fight on our ship is looking kind of silly. We'll take out their weapons with our small bomb if possible. Does it hit? Does it hit? It hits. Okay. Uh, and then, as we take out their shields, we'll get ready to fire our basic laser. Their shields are down. We'll make sure to hit their uh, their weapons area. And their, their whole crew should be dead now. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We got a combat drone and plenty of scrap. This is starting to work out. I, I think it's coming back into my favor again. It's a very risky uh, strategy for play because, as you can see, everybody gets wounded like crazy. And uh, that's why having this next level of med bay seems to be super important. But we are getting uh, generally better scrap rewards, I would say. And we've got some stuff to sell if we could ever find a shop. Which, of course, I, I'm cracking a joke because we'll, we'll never be able to... Oh, there's one right there. Never mind. And this is one of the few situations where I'm like, weapon pre-igniter, I don't give a shit. We need another gun. Desperately. And it needs to be a good one. Uh, well, no it doesn't. It needs to be better than basic laser. Which is not hard, because that might be the worst weapon in the game, now that I think about it. So we have an ion bomb, burst laser mark 3. Burst laser mark 3. Incredible. 
Um, we're, we're definitely going to sell combat drone. Honestly, selling the battery charger seems like a smart idea to me. We can always buy a backup battery later, but I don't have a really good track record with it. I tend not to. Uh, I think we'll buy a burst laser. And I think we'll... Uh, no, explosive replicator is not what I thought it was. It's good, though. And I think we'll buy a repair arm, so we don't have to... Um, we don't actually have to fix ourselves very much in the future, but we will have to fix ourselves a little bit now. So, obviously, burst laser mark, uh, mark 3 is not ready to go yet, but it will be ready to go in the future. So, so uh, two more bars of weapon power is probably going to be our next uh, most important thing. And we'll do what we always do. Try to take over the world. We're going to board them in their shields room. Why shields instead of weapons? Uh, because now we can use our um, our small bomb to hit their weapons area. And then we'll uh, kill their crew. And then we can use our uh, our basic laser to attack whatever su subsystems of theirs we want to. Basically, if that makes sense. So we've started quite a nightmare for them here. Pretty sure we're going to kill all their crew members, actually. There we go. And yes, we are hurting a little bit. The Zoltans do explode when they die. We should probably pay attention to that in the future. But you'll come back and go to the med bay. And we picked up a relatively decent amount of scrap. Cool beans. So Burst Laser Mark III shoots four shots. Five shots disregard. Uh, which is basically going to be all we have, I guess. That's going to be like our whole our whole thing. Our, our whole... Um, uh, Oh, wait, now we can get more weapon power easily. Okay. I'll get the weapon power even though we don't have the reactor power yet. Because I can always take it away from the med bay for a little bit. And take one away from the oxygen as well. There we go. Now we can have this active. Um, yeah, that, that's going to be all we have to use to deal damage for the next little bit. So I think we've, we've made uh, some pretty shrewd moves, shall I say. And uh, we've definitely got to be way more hands-on with this ship than, than with typical ships. As a result of the fact that, uh, you know, we've got to be monitoring our crew's health at every single moment. But now at least we can get the, the burst laser working. They have a missile launcher. Uh, so obviously, yeah, we'll teleport on board. I don't think we have to go for shields anymore. We, but it doesn't really matter what we go for anymore, I think. Um, because we, basically we're just, we're handcuffed until the first burst laser comes in anyway. Uh, they have two mantis in here. So basically what we're relying on is our mantis being better crew members than theirs are. So our shields are completely down. Let's get that NG over there. Oh, we're in a bad spot here. Okay, well, we've killed two of their crew members. Teleport back. ASAP, please. Get you into the med bay. And uh, we can power up the med bay to two for now. Burst laser is about to go. This is an important moment. Good enough. <laughs> More than good enough. Um, let's depower that a little bit. Uh, you guys are going to get back on the teleporter. And we may not have to... Uh, we may not have to fire that burst laser again. Let's see. There's an NG in here. Do you think this is their last crew member? We're about to find out. We're not going to kill them with this burst laser anyway, so might as well fire it. Good. They fired a missile at us, which is still super annoying. It did some hull damage, but that's about it. Keep in mind, we do have the uh, automatic hull repair uh, augment now. So we get 15% less scrap, which is I thought was fine because we're going to get more scrap in the future anyway. Uh, just from killing crew members as much as possible. Speaking of which, I would love to get, like, more Mantis crew members or a bigger teleport area, but whatever. Um, I'm not even sure if that's possible. So be it. We'll keep moving here. I think we're in a very good position now. If only we had a little bit better missile defense, and that's probably going to come from a missile defense drone, obviously. So they're going to board us. And I'm thinking, like, should we board them in return? I don't think we should, honestly. I think we should wait. And they boarded us in... In this room. Okay, so we're going to send both of our Mantis up here. Maybe even all three of our Mantis. Why would I not even try to counterboard them? Because the Burst Laser is our main damage dealer in a situation like this. So, honestly, I, just, I think we just wait for them to bust through this door, we kill them, and then our Burst Laser just goes to town on their shields and we just tear them apart. It's a slug. It's a single fucking slug. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they teleported them off. I don't blame you. Actually, now, uh, we're gonna teleport on board of your ship because what that just the audacity of that is, is comical to me. And we're gonna go on the uh, piloting... Oh, no, you know what? We should... We'll kill this guy, which should be easy. Is that the only crew member? No. We're gonna go in the clone bay right away, because this is what we have to take out in order to, uh... In order to kill them. And I really want to get a sensor system, too. Yep, there we go. They're, they're trying to get away. If they get away with my Mantis crew members on board, I'm gonna be displeased. So, let's, uh... Mmm. We can't fire yet. You should maybe start attacking the engine or piloting system ASAP. This is the piloting system. Reason being, if we actually... If we hit them uh, 100% with this burst laser, 
our crew members will die. So I thought maybe we would just try this out. We'll teleport them off, then the burst laser will go. And they're gonna surrender, but it's a bad deal. So that was a little bit tricky, but it worked out. Send Caldwell to the med bay quickly. All right, so I almost accidentally killed our crew members there. That's fine. It shit happens, I guess, is the philosophy I'll take there. Could go to the exit, but I think I, I can go to this nebula. Little risky. Yeah, very risky. Like, no reactor power. Oxygen's depowered. Um, power that one. Uh, okay, so we do have... We have no weapons powered up. That's a, that's a big problem. What do we have else? Uh, we have a... Plasma storm, so we have half capacity. And we have a... Uh, Nebula. Sensors won't work. That's fine. We can actually depower our shields one level because their missile will just cut through it anyway, but we'll protect against this combat drone. So that'll give us two levels. Um, I think we'll use one for teleporter and uh, one for basic laser because they don't have any shields up. So we'll teleport on board uh, and I think we're going to try to take out their weapons as soon as possible. And uh, apart from that, we'll probably... I mean, we don't really need to go on shields. Problem with sending our crew members into the... Uh, weapons room is that I then can't really use basic laser to target it. But we, we do still want to do some hull damage to them, so let's hit, hit this area right here. They don't have a med bay. They're going to send one more crew member in to fight us. You might want to teleport out straight away uh, and get yourselves into the med bay quickly. I imagine we're probably going to take some damage here. Uh, but then we'll fire a, a shot in on the weapons, and that should... Yeah, that took out their missile launcher. So now they've got shields powered up. So what we'll actually do is just... Because uh, I think they only have one crew member left. We'll send our mantises... Mantis eye? Whatever. Uh, back on board. And this time we'll send them into the shields room. Because... By sending them into the shield room, uh, we should be able to kill their last crew member by baiting him in here. And if we don't, then we take out their shields and burst laser can start doing other parts. So we actually got a weapons personnel there, which is cool. And we got a little bit of scrap. We have a slug, which means we don't actually need sensors anymore. And Yoin is in a little bit of hurting pain here. I don't really need to fix up this breach, in my opinion. And we don't have a weapons personnel, so our slug can go there. And now we... That was actually a pretty sizable upgrade. And I really, really like, uh, like the way that this ship forces you to fight. Especially now that I actually have the capabilities to do damage to ships beyond teleporting onto them. So, we need to power, like, everything up, obviously. They have a cloak, which is, uh, suffice it to say, pretty rare for this early on. That one extra power goes into our med bay. Uh, so, we, obviously, we can't board them straight away. But we will board them, rest assured. And where do we board them? Now we can see what's going on. They have two rock men. And, uh, really what we do is we board in the shields room now, I think. And th this allows us to guilt-free fire our, uh, burst laser on their weapons. We still need missile defense, because things like that are going to happen. Um, and we have to put that out, so I'm going to send Slugman in here. And hopefully we'll be able to, bleh, hopefully we'll be able to put that out before uh, we run into substantial problems with our door system. Normally, of course, we would use the door system to put out the fire, but the fire's in our door system. Okay, Burst Laser's not even going to charge, which means we're going to uh, get Small Bomb up as soon as possible. And Slug, you should get in here and start repairing this. And it doesn't really matter if our door system's out. Oh, we got problems. Can I teleport them out during a cloak? No. Don't die. Ooh, pretty close. <laughs> pretty, pretty close. You get into the med bay. Alright, doors are fixed enough. Let's get these weapon systems up. God damn it, this missile launcher just doesn't miss. Uh, and there's a fire in our engine room now, but at least we can do that and, and stop it. Now, uh, yes, I mean, we have a situation on our hands, let's be honest. We can teleport back on board. Might be the best idea, because they have the greatest attacks of all time. Um, small bomb's got to go. It's got to go on shields. Good. They only have one crew member left. So I'm going to teleport uh, back on board. So everyone get back to your positions, particularly you guys here. And thankfully, we, we don't need to really repair our, our hull too much. Because it'll repair automatically. We, we should repair our hull, but it'll repair automatically. Good, that's fine. Um, doing hull damage doesn't matter to me. Let's kill this Mantis, get as much scrap as is humanly possible. Not Mantis, Rockman. You know the drill. 51 scrap. Healed us up a little bit. That was a tough fight, though. Definitely not uh, one of the easier ones. Come back on, and you'll go here. Alright. Scary, very, very scary. We still we need missile defense. Whether that comes in a Zoltan energy shield or a defense drone, pre pre preferably uh, Mark II. Or, um, a cloaking system would work 
perfectly fine as well. Everyone get, uh, you know, we need to heal up uh, our other crew members as well, so let's get ready here. I think this has been an admirable run so far. I have no idea what our long-term prospects are. I really don't because I just don't really know how the ship scales at all. Uh, but you'll come back. And, oh, they switch places in the med bay. I like that a lot. They're like, okay, normally I go in on the left. Is that okay? Sure. Uh, we'll get ready to jump. And we'll be jumping to sector four uh, momentarily, assuming nothing terrible happens here. Go looking for the rebel ship. Absolutely nothing was there. So, uh, next level of cloaking is coming up. Sorry, not cloaking. Teleporting is coming up. The clone bay becomes the cloaking bay. And apparently the teleporter becomes the cloaking bay as well. Uh, we can probably get still to the exit if we do this, so I'm gonna try. We got no scrap, so we might as well fight. And this will drastically lower the cooldown on our uh, teleporter. We've got some issues here, though. Ion stunner plus two lasers. That's a pretty good combination to deal with what I'm throwing out. Uh, we'll fire, like, exclusively on shields with our burst laser. Their ion stunner did hit, so we're in a risky position here with 30% dodge chance. We didn't even get completely through their energy shield. So, it's gonna be a weird one. It's gonna be a very weird one, in fact. But we'll, f we'll fire the burst laser in again, and we'll fire it in on their weapons this time, because they do have a chance to take us out. Their ion stunner may stun somebody. Oh, it missed, thankfully. Okay, their weapon system is completely out. So what that tells me is it's time to send a couple uh, mantises on board. Maybe mess with their... Uh... You know what? Maybe we don't want to deal with the mantises this time. Why do I say that? Are they Zoltan or Rock? Oh, man, if they're Zoltan, which I think they are, actually we will. But this means, yeah, that's fine. This means that we can't send our burst laser in to do damage, because if it does max damage, it'll kill them. It'll, it'll kill the mantises. Uh, or if it started a fire, we could, it could kill the mantises anyway. So yeah, the Zoltan exploding is really dangerous for us, but it's a nice counter to boarding, I guess, that it's, it's kind of a Pyrrhic victory. Got a decent amount of scrap there, I'd say. What would I like to do next? It would still be nice to upgrade our weapon system once more so we could have a, uh, a bomb in addition to the burst laser so we could at least inhibit their weapons for a while. But really, we're looking at picking up a drone unit as soon as possible because if we don't, we're going to lose, and that's bad. Uh, we really, really need that defense drone as soon as possible. Zoltan or Rock? We're going to go Zoltan because they're easier to board and kill, I think. And this is going to be Sector 4, probably the last sector covered in this part. Hmm. Let's take, a, let's take the long way down uh, here. As many, as many combat opportunities as we have, I would like to take. So, first things first, we'll board. Looks like they have uh, three humans on board. I think we'll go on the shields room. And the reason I want to fight on the shields room is it takes people away from the weapons room, which is where I want to direct my burst laser to. They have a Pegasus missile, which should charge roughly at the same rate as my uh, burst laser Mark III. So hopefully I can just get the shot off before their missile, or in, in time with their missile, essentially. And that worked out fantastically. We may... Oh, no, we made it. I was going to say we may want to teleport our crew back, but we made it happen just in time. So we're getting pretty good at that. Sucks that the teleportation bay is so small. Because if we could send over three mantises and then have like a slug pilot, even though the slug's good at weapons, uh, I think that would be a smart idea. Three mantises is better than two. But we're kind of, you know, hamstrung by the position we're in. Um, okay, we have intruders on board. We have no sensors. Uh, intruders on board seems like a really, really dumb idea for them. So I'm actually just going to... Um, I'll let... These guys duke it out. Oh, we have two in there. Mm, NG's not going to help out too much. We'll send the slug in here. Med Bay is fully powered up, so I'm not concerned about that. Oh, I forgot we have a breach in this room. So actually, these uh, mantises should get back up here. Get in the Med Bay as soon as possible. NG should join them, actually. And our other mantis is not going to fare too well against two humans. We'll send in... Uh, well, send out, and then we'll send in. And then we got two more mantises that we can cover this with. No problem. So again, like, why why would you board this ship? This is the best ship. You're going to be screwed. Nothing to repair. Uh, send everybody into the medical bay. Yoin, uh, not having a good time. It's okay, send everybody back to where they belong. Except for Yoin, we are going to send into the med bay here. I, you know, you've probably noticed by now, I just really like saying Yoin. I think it's pretty good. It might be Ian. I don't even know how it's pronounced, to be honest with you. Uh, but I, I like Yoin, so I'm going to continue saying Yoin. And if that's a problem, then I apologize. Now, three humans on board. Again, my strategy, teleport into the shields room. 
uh, so we can fire on the weapons room. And if they send all three humans to fight us, they, we might have a problem. But since they only send two, we're gonna kill them super easily. And I imagine we'll probably kill the crew members, but whatever. We'll, we'll take out the, uh, the shields as soon as possible. Or sorry, we'll take out the weapons as soon as possible, then fight the remaining crew member, and that's just, that's just the end of their um, Age of Innocence here. So there we go, and uh, oh, they still have a, oh, they have a clone bay. That's the issue here. So we're gonna head into the clone bay, and uh, if we can just not get killed, we're gonna be fine. Stay cool. We're gonna be fine. We're fine. All right. So we'll just kill the clone bay, and then that'll be the end of their ship. Oh, they came back. Ooh. Uh, okay. You know what? A little scared. I need to teleport back, and we'll fire on their weapons again. So we could. Uh, well, there's a lot of things we could do here. Why are you? No, don't go into that room. That was pretty silly of me. I think we might just kind of go to town on them here. Take out their ship. It was stupid of me to not go after the clone bay as soon as I took them out, but now they're gonna have uh, crew coming back to life. But if we just take out their clone bay now, then I mean, we could teleport back on board. There's really no point, though. I think we should just kind of live with it. It's fine. I botched it a little bit, and you know, Burst Laser Mark III is a great weapon. It's still not going to win the day for us exclusively, as you can probably tell by the way that these fights are going so far. Actually, you know what? We should probably take out their engines first, because they're going to try to run. Good enough. Um, yeah, it's not going to win the day for us exclusively, as you can probably tell, but I think we'll probably be uh, okay overall. Why don't we go for the piloting system next? It was just stupid of me to handle this fight the way that I did. I should really... I, I never think about the clone bay. I always think about, like, a med bay. It's actually a, a decent surrender offer, but I'm not going to accept it just because they bothered me. It took a lot of my time. And uh, with the weapon that we have, the, the burst laser, the pre-igniter is actually exceptionally useful. But we may or may not get it, so just keep it going. Uh, we get to choose your doom. Mantis, Slug, or Rockman. We're going to take Slug, and they may have a cloaking system. They don't, actually. reason we took Slug, I think it should be obvious. They're the weakest out of those three. So we'll go on their uh, go on their shields room. We'll probably fight double Mantis here. May be able to kill them before they even get a chance to uh, fire their lasers one time. So I'm pleased with that. Drone control unit's still high on my list. Dodge chance would be good. Mm, there's some damage. We killed them, though. And he gave us a, a buttload of scrap. A literal buttload. You should check my pants right now. That's where the scrap is. Minus the S, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know how you couldn't know what I mean, because that was a literal explanation. But anyway, this is great. We have 205 scrap. The ability to go to the uh, store would be awesome. We don't really need anything but upgrades. By all means. Everyone gets back to where they belong. And we should probably med bay up pretty soon, but it's not 100% necessary right off the bat. We're just trying to see if there's a store in the general vicinity, and so far, uh, no such luck. Plenty of fuel, though, so we can afford to jump a little bit, and Sector 4 has gone pretty well for us so far. Third bar of shields would be good, but really, uh, really just want to get up, uh... Is that a rock man or two humans? Two humans, it looks like. This is a scary ship, and it's it's scary, like the ion is meaningless in this case, even if it hits us. The missile's the annoying part. We only have a 30% dodge chance, which is not great. That NG will eventually get better. And we, like, again, the ions are worthless, because I don't think they can take out both levels of shields and something else. They missed with the missile again, which is exceptionally lucky. Uh, so what happens next? Burst laser goes in on the shields. Please miss. Please miss. That is, uh, that's a direct hit, but our burst lasers got in, and that's the only thing that matters. So now I'm going to teleport into the weapons room uh, to force them to fight us, basically. And it's going to take a while for that repair to happen, even with this NG. So I'm just going to get a uh, small bomb basic laser combo up. But we're going to kill them both. Uh, we just want to make give ourselves like a another chance, basically. Um, another opportunity to win. We got 6 fuel and 56 scrap as a result of that. And this is why I thought, you know, 56, or sorry, 15% less scrap per uh, encounter is not that bad when we're already getting probably like 25% more as a result of uh, just boarding every ship. So why don't we send out some of our uh, our crew to get healed here. Everyone can go back to base. Except uh, our slug crew member who will get healed up in the med bay. And I'm really digging the boarding ship. I have to admit, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. Um, just need to get a little bit more practice. I am playing on easy, which is, you know, that, that affects my uh, perception of how things are going, absolutely. Otherwise, I could be having a, a terrible time here. But 250 scrap. We got to get cloaking, mind control. Um, let's see what they got. Sensors. Sensors would be nice. We don't need any other 
Eh, we don't need any of this either. Long range scanners are okay. Long range scanners are pretty good actually, but uh, none of the other augments really appeal to me. So they go buy a sensors level, even though we do have a slug. I think we'll buy a cloaking level, because that's super useful for missile defense. Fuck it, let's... Oh, we can't buy hacking. Anything to sell? No. That's fine. This has been good. This has been a good section. We don't need to fix anything, I'd say. Uh, we do want to upgrade cloaking as much as possible. So, we might be able to get one extra level and two bars of power. No. <laughs> we will be able to get one extra level and one bar of power. And then we can depower engines a little bit and get uh, two levels of cloaking up. This is super important, because uh, this is our missile defense now. And it's pretty good. We don't need to even shoot. We can just cloak right at the... Oh, we can't cloak right at the start, can we? But we, we'll know when the time is right to cloak. Um, just give it a second here. Give it a sec. We're waiting for their, their shot to come in. Not that one. The, I, I thought I heard the flat cannon go, so we're going to cloak out of that. Still um, nearly hit us. But this is great because their shields are down now. So I'm thinking what I'm actually going to do is just hang out for a second. And we'll soften them up by uh, hitting the weapons with our, with our burst laser. That's good. And then we will teleport our mantis on board. Not into the weapons room because there could be a fire, but into the shields room, which will force them to come and fight us, and their weapons are going to stay offline. I think this is the proper way to handle this. Uh, I, I really think it's the proper way to handle it. We're going to get hurt by those explosions, but whatever, right? Pretty good uh, section for me. And you guys will come back to the med bay. They've been very good fighters for me so far. They're at max level fighting. I wish there was a way that they could keep leveling up, but I guess eventually they would just teleport on board and murder them instantly. And again, I really think we should get a clone bay if possible, because then we could just kamikaze our, our mantis on board. For things like the rebel flagship, where I'm going to take a lot of damage, that seems pretty useful. So, so far so good. We got an anti-ship beam drone Mark II. Very useful. To sell at a shop for money. Unless I get a drone control unit, which could happen. We will absolutely aid the civilian ship every time we get the opportunity, and this is what I like about this. So, we'll teleport on board, doesn't really matter, it looks like they have a mantis and a human. What I would actually like to do is maybe come in here so we get a, a second to fight the human before the mantis even gets in. It's actually not a, a human, it's a Zoltan. And when they shoot, we can just cloak, which means we have way more time for our, our people to do their dirty work here. Wonderful. 56 scrap and 4 hull points repaired, along with some other detritus. We're at 107 scrap again. We could buy the hacking unit if we go back to the store. And we have a lot of drone parts, and being able to hack, uh... Being able to hack a room so we can just kill whoever's in the room with, um, with us... Seems really good. Will we still be able to get to the exit? Absolutely. So I think we're gonna go to the, uh... We're gonna buy the hacking unit. And it's our ship's final slot, that's okay. It means drone control is not gonna be possible. But, why do I like this? Imagine, we, uh, hack their weapons send our Mantis crew members in there, nobody else can get in to help them fight. So, I think that's really what's what's going to be amazing about this. And I do need another bar of reactor power if possible, so for now we'll pull it away from the med bay. Uh, and we'll jump to the next sector, and that's going to be Sector 5, which means we are going to be uh, taking a quick break here. It was a long first part of this episode, but I'm having a good time with the Stealth Cruiser nonetheless. Uh, there's a distress beacon to start off the next episode. If you enjoy this part, part one is often forgotten about. Click the like button, it does help out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more FTL in the future. If you want to see more FTL right now, part two will be up no matter what time you're watching this video at. Just check the link in the video description below. And thanks for watching, thanks for your support on the series so far. I'll see you next time with more Stealth Cruiser Adventures.